All right, in this video, I'm gonna be adding an M.2 NVMe drive to my PlayStation 5 that I picked up. Obviously, it's Christmas. I got the PlayStation 5 for the kids for Christmas this year, and then I just picked up the Western Digital NVMe SSD at the same time. To do this, you just need you know, an eyeglass repair kit, something like that. Super easy and fast to do. And if you're watching this when it comes out, obviously Merry Christmas. First thing I'm gonna do is plug in the PS5 and do the system software update. My understanding is you need the latest software updated. And once that's done, you can do the NVMe drive or the M.2 install. And for this, I got a Western Digital Black SN850X. Link in the description, of course. First thing I'm gonna do is pop off the plastic cover. It's not a perfect rectangle and the smaller side just has the two clips and that's the side that you lift up and then obviously once, the, once it pops out of place, the bottom just comes out. Now you can't install the M2 drive direct. There is a single screw that holds down the expansion slot cover. So once that's out, a little bit difficult to pull out, but you can jam that screwdriver in there and pick it up. You also need to take out this screw. Now this single screw is the one that is going to actually hold the M2 or the NVMe drive in place. So don't lose that. And then there's a spacer or a washer underneath there, kind of a fat washer looking thing. And that needs to go under the M2 drive. So just pull the Western Digital M2 drive out. You can see I got the one with the heat sink. It's advised that you do get the one with the heat sink because it helps with cooling the M2 drive. So I'm gonna measure it up and see where that spacer or the washer needs to go. Mine's a little shorter, so I'm gonna move it up right there to that hole. So that's where I'm gonna have that screw sink through. And you need that so that you don't over tighten it and basically bend the NVMe drive or the M2 drive down too far. That keeps you from going too far. So to install it, I'm gonna come in at about a 30 degree angle and it just sort of slides into place. Not too technical. If you can install a USB charging cord into a cellular phone, you could probably pull this off. Like I said, goes in at about a 30 degree angle and then you just lower it onto the spacer and then you just take that screw. They are small, try not to drop it and tighten it down. Now you can tighten it right down because that spacer is there. Like I said, if that spacer wasn't there, and you tighten it all the way down, it would go down too far. I'm now gonna put the expansion slot cover back in place. I've seen videos saying the cover actually increases the heat in the PlayStation 5. I don't know, it's probably still within specification, but my understanding is that is part of the cooling system for the PS5. Put plastic casing back on, just line up those three holes, put them in place, and then put a little bit of pressure up at the top where the two upper clips go. Now, as soon as you plug in your PlayStation 5 with the M.2 NVMe drive, it's gonna give you this format thing. So obviously, if you have something on your SSD, it's gonna wipe it out. So I'm gonna format it. Obviously, it's brand new, so it doesn't really matter. But if there was a whole bunch of stuff saved on there, it's likely gonna completely wipe it, if that's what you got going on. Hit OK a few times, and then I'll go, and then I'll go into settings and check out the storage. And yes, I do have LED backlights on my TV. I did that two Christmases ago, I think. I'll throw a link in the description for how to do LED backlighting on your TV. Still going strong, still worth it. The one thing I'm going to do is change where games get installed. So for PlayStation 5 games, I considered having them go to the M2 SSD storage but I've changed my plan here, as you'll see, and I'm gonna change that back to console storage, and I'm gonna put the PlayStation 4 games on the NVMe 2 drive. I don't know if it's gonna matter, that's how I'm gonna run it, and I'll see how it goes. I'm sure it's gonna be fine either way. Anyway, like I said, Merry Christmas. Thanks for checking out my video. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe.